So with Civil War II continuing, I decided I wanted to do something interesting for this event, and I wanted to do a you know a quick little prediction on a or at least a loose prediction based on what we've gotten and what we've seen so far of this event, if you want to call it that, and kind of talk about what I where I think this story's going and where I think the fallout will lead in terms of uh, what's going to happen with all of these characters. So, let's begin, shall we? Let's no, let's let, let's begin. Let's begin. So, here's how, what I think is going to happen in because now they've just now, you know, in this mini series, they've just now started their whole civil war. You know, three, you know, it should not take a series four issues to go, well, now we're drawing the battle lines rather than, you know, it should have been at least the second issue or yeah. Um what? Like, it wasn't like that from, you know, second issue, at least it starts that way. How, how long is this event? Like, six, six issues long? I mean, if I remember right, Civil War, it started from the... It started, like, it was building um, from the get-go, and it didn't... It started, like, second issue, right? I can't remember, because that event was so fucking terrible. And this one is just... Bo and this one is just, eh, because here's the problem with Civil War 2. Civil War II has all the characters acting out of character and being completely insane because no one, everyone's acting like they haven't, you know, they haven't encountered, you know, people with precognition before. Also, the Hulk's death was left me going, eh, you know, the Hulk, my favorite suit, you know, my favorite Marvel character, getting killed off by Hawkeye, another one of my favorite Marvel characters, and I was left going, eh, just eh. This should be a big moment, but nope. And also, we have this moment where Captain Marvel goes, "It was for accountability." Also, for some reason, I don't know. I don't understand why the fuck Carol's doing this. We all, and also in this issue, you know, in the fourth issue, we have Tony and Carol more or less drawing the battle lines. Four issues, four issues into this comic, and now we're dealing with a civil war. And yeah, Tony brought them together for something sensible. Basically, going, "Okay, look, we need to figure out what to do here." Because, yeah, I already went through that Civil War shit once, and we don't need to do that. And Carol just goes completely off the handle going, No, no, we need to use this guy's power to, you know, stop crimes before they happen. You know, guilty before proven innocent. That's how we need to work. And I was like, what? No, Carol would not be like this. And you could argue that, yeah, it's because of what happened with Rhodey that she's, been, you know, she's acting off the handle. But still... Carol's not some, you know, vindictive lying bitch. She wouldn't, you know, if anything, she would have taken, you know, the stuff with, Ro you know, what happened with Rhodey with Thanos and should have been like, okay, we need to learn from our mistakes and this is a power we have. And yeah, I still obey the law as, you know, because I did this before. You know, I did this alongside Tony and we obeyed the law and that's what I'm going to do again. So, you know, although granted, you know, the law was a very loose term in Civil War one, in the first Civil War. So, but no, she goes completely off the handle, acts like a total idiot, and yeah, a majority of the characters also go, you know, get a get hit with a stupid stick and follow her. Um, and why are the Guardians of the Galaxy joining Carol's side? There is no, and I'm going to take a page of what Steve Baxey said about. Um, the Guardians joining, uh, you know, fighting alongside Carol. There is no way that star realistically Star Lord and the other Guardians, aside from Gamora, and maybe Drax, but that's a loose term. Not at, at least a majority of the Guardians would go, no, this, you know, yeah, I've, you know, I've seen what you know people can do with this kind of power. So no, we're not going to help Carol. But nope, all the guard, you know, the Guardians, nope, they're going to be helping Carol. Don't know why, because I guess. Brian Michael ben Bendis wills it, I guess. That's all I can think. That's my only logical option. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to have some more major characters get killed off, and we're going to feel hollow about it. And here's the wild theory. Here's the wild card theory, and hear me out. And this could be totally wrong. Just letting you guys know that this theory right, that I have right here could be totally, absolutely, 100% wrong. And I fully acknowledge that it could be wrong, and I will accept if it's wrong. And that's the point. It's just a th it's just a fan theory. That is that's just how it is. But I just have a feeling this is where it might go. I think what's going to happen is that it's going to be revealed that Ulysses is not really being a villain per se, but he's tearing the Avengers apart on purpose 
because of his, pre you know, he doesn't want to be used as a weapon. He doesn't want to be used as someone who can be put, you know, and being told what to do. He is not, you know, even the, he, when we first did discover that he had this power, Ulysses was like, look, I don't want this. I don't want to be, you know, this kind of guy who becomes the, you know, the reason for judge, jury, and executioner. So what I think is that he's causing this team, you know, he's quintessentially causing all of this so the Avengers can tear themselves apart because, yeah, he didn't, he never got a say in this. He never got a say in what, you know, his actions would lead to or, you know, being allowed to make his own decision. He was never allowed that in this entire event. He's just being treated like, you know, uh, a weapon. And he, you know, I think it's going to be revealed that, yeah, I've been, I've been using my future sight against everyone so I can tear the, this team apart out of petty spite because I'm that kind of asshole. So that's what I think is the case, is that Ulysses, you know, Ulysses is just doing this, you know, he is having these precognif precognition sights, you know, he is having that kind of future vision, but at the same time, I think he's more or less doing this, so when he tells them about this, the events of, the, of, the, of, the, of what he saw can happen. Or in some cases, you know, he can create new events and tear the Avengers apart even further. So... That's what I kind of think is that's going to be real, revealed that Ulysses is like, ha ha, I made, you know, I made you guys act like a bunch of fucking children. Deal with it. Anyway. So, that's how I think it's going to, you know, that's how I think it's going to go is that it's going to be revealed Ulysses used his powers to more or less teach a, you know, very brutal lesson to the Avengers. Again, I could be totally 100% wrong on that field. But yeah, let's look at it. You know, all of his predictions have kind of in some ways come true, and the ones that he's managed to prevent were ended with very, you know, with very brutal consequences. So it could be possible that he could be, like, sit, you know, later on just be like, yep, did this on purpose. <laughs> made Iron Man, made the Avengers tear each other apart again. And yeah. So it also looks like we may turn Carol, uh, you know, Carol Danvers into, you know, public enemy number one, like how we ousted Iron Man after Civil War. So that's what I think might happen with with Carol now, which I, she doesn't really deserve, but whatever. It's you know, Civil War. Someone has to be the bad guy, I guess. And she'll be a villain. You know, she'll be looked as a villain, if not a asshole, for a while, um, for a long while, and then. You know, when the Captain when the Captain Marvel co movie comes around, then she'll be like magically like, oh yeah, Carol, welcome back to the Avengers. Sorry about Civil War Two. We're so sorry about that. This is how it works, folks. This we've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, look if if you enjoy Civil War Two, that's totally fine. No ill will against you. I bear no grudge if you think if you really enjoy Civil War Two. Uh, and I do know a couple friends of mine who are enjoying Civil War too, but yeah, I just haven't been liking it. I just everyone's been acting like an idiot. Um, the Hulk, the Hulk, the thing of, with Hulk dying just didn't roll with me, and it just made me go. What my favorite car my favorite superhero just got killed by one of my other favorite superheroes, and I feel nothing about it. I feel no, you know, it just felt gimmick. It just felt gimmicky with a capital G, <laughs> really. Yeah, it just felt really gimmicky. Like, super, super, uber-duper uh, gimmicky. And I just can't, And now we're officially getting the Civil War part th four issues into the fucking event. Yeah. Anyway. So, again, if you really enjoy um, Civil War, that's totally fine. That is totally 100% fine. No ill will against you. Me, personally... I, I could care less about this event at this point. I really just do not care anymore. I just know. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that's just this is just my personal opinion. If your opinion you know differs, that's totally fine. I'm always interested to see. And again, my whole theory on Ulysses that could be totally bogus too. You know that could be totally disproven as well. I'm pretty sure it could be disproven. But at the same time, like how he kind of acted in the miniseries around him, as well as um, as well as some of the things he's been doing in of you know in this story arc, it's kind of like, are you telling him to warn him, or are you doing this on purpose, Ulysses? What's what's the deal here, buddy? <laughs> and again, this wouldn't be the first time that um, you know Brian Mike, you know Bendis has surprised us with you know, oh, he was a surprise bad guy the whole time. 
I've seen this before from Bendis. And again, fully understand that I could be totally wrong on this um, on this front. But at the same time, you got to think to yourself, could be right, <laughs> could you know? And again, totally accept that it could be wrong. But you guys tell me, what do you guys think? What are your predictions for how Civil War Two will end? Um, who else do you think would die? And yeah, what do you think is the future for both Iron Man and Captain Marvel? Just comment below, let me know. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.